Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ and the Lord. This is Mike McQuarrie with a couple of scriptures for you and a challenge. The first scripture is in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, which reads, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. The second verse is in Luke chapter 12, verse 8. This passage uh, we, I, I discovered this passage a few weeks together to go in a men's discovery Bible study. And as we were studying this passage, uh, I was so encouraged. And this passage, verse 8, just jumped off the page. It's like a golden nugget. And this is what it says. He says, I tell you, whoever publicly acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. You see, Jesus has called us to be his witness. Somehow, some way, he has designed this, that our testimony about him is breaks into the spiritual realm because he's so excited about it, he's going to re- reveal that to the angels. And this is something that we should do, we can obey, is to tell our story. So here is my challenge. I want you to go through the New Testament and find your favorite verse or favorite story about somebody giving their testimony about Jesus. And then go on Facebook and use the hashtag, a hashtag Jesus Witness, and give us that verse and the reason why you love it. Or uh, tell us of a book or a movie uh, about a great testimony and do the same thing, hashtag Jesus Witness, or record your own testimony in three minutes or less, because that, being able to do that, to share our testimony, is very powerful and is the first step in disciple making. You see, I love reading stories about people's testimony in Christ. The first book I remember reading is uh, a book by Dave Wilkerson called The Cross and the Switchblade when I was in junior high. And I've read several of Lee Strobel's books and I've seen the movie about him. And I had an opportunity to actually meet Lee. And uh, so I enjoy that story. Stories about Bonhoeffer and Wilberforce and John Rankin here in, in Brown County. But the book I re- most recently read that was the most challenging was the book about by Matthew Gardner, his autobiography. Matthew Gardner, you see, came to Ohio when he was 10 years old, was baptized uh, in, he, here when he was 20 under the preaching of Barton W. Stone at a camp meeting. He got his first job uh, when he left home was splitting rails. He made 50 cents a day. For six days he worked, splitting 100 rails a day, and he made $3. He took that $3 and bought a Bible, and that was his training, reading that Bible on his knees before God. And he began preaching. The first place he came was right here in Shinkles Ridge. Hundreds of people started to form, and he preached here, and he started preaching on ridge after ridge, and he established his first church here. Uh, then he established 21 other churches. He baptized 6,000 people. He lived to be almost 83 years old. He was the founder of the Georgetown Church of Christ. Uh, I just pray, dear Lord Jesus, that you would give us strength today, that you would give us encouragement and boldness to share our witness, be a, a, a testimony of Jesus, what he done, that revival would return to this land, that your Holy Spirit would pour out, that we would be a nation that truly repents of our sins and humbles ourselves and turns to you, that our church would be totally engaged in making disciples, that you would empower us, us just the way Matthew Gardner, uh, he seemed like he had no skills, People didn't accept him right away, but we know he was persistent, that he was on his knees before you, and he preached the gospel truth, and people came to Christ because he loved you, and he loved the people. Amen. I pray this in Jesus' name, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, This challenge you to do that. Uh, Again, this is Mike McQuarrie from the Georgetown Church of Christ, and let us be great witnesses for Jesus, and have a good day.